out in Seattle there, a masked man has been going around and looking in people's windows, looking like a ninja, except for his penis. He, he's walking around, looking in people's windows and yanking right outside the windows. There are some photographs of him, but the thing is, because he's completely covered from head to toe, except for his penis, of course, he's uh, not able to be identified. One of the funniest things here is one of the comments that was on here that said, well, the one part of their body that we can identify, they're blurred out. So I think we should have a completely unblurred vo photo of this guy's penis. And there's a lady that's saying this. So women is out there that say, well, God, women don't like to look at penises. Bullshit. Women like to look at penises, too. Uh, <laughs> maybe she was kidding. Maybe she wasn't. I don't know. But the, these photos are it, they're creepy as hell. It's just so weird that people would go out and do this. Uh, the cops that who's live there attend the University of Washington have heard suspicious sounds outside their house on several occasions. They say the suspect who's makeshift ninja outfit and five toed shoes. So if you know somebody out in in Seattle that owns some five-toed shoes. You might want to see if there's anything white sitting on the top of them. Um, <laughs> stand on the security footage. May have been visited four times in the last few months. They said they want their help from the public to ID the guy. So this is just so funny. Kind of your thoughts. I'm trying to imagine the lineup. Oh, <laughs> penis is out, everybody. Comments on the website Busted said, uh, SPD doesn't even answer scum find out scum who piss and shit on the sidewalk why are they concerned about some guy beating his monkey and the reply was animal abuse <laughs> 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 if they find him will it be a stroke of luck oh no <laughs> <laughs> what about DNA evidence <laughs> yeah what about DNA evidence now, the, the, there was somebody who, had, I remember somebody had asked about DNA evidence. The problem with that is, if this guy has not done anything in the past, and he's not in what's called the CODIS, that's a uh, cross-country uh, database for DNA samples that's all put yeah. in there. If he's never done anything before, he was probably not in CODIS. Even if, and, right. but if he, if he is, then they could look him up, but there's, the chances of that is pretty low. Well, I don't know how this escalates, actually. I don't know if people who do this go on to actually assault people, too. You know, he might just be... He just might be just doing it for shits and giggles. I mean, he's like, oh, I'm I'm masturbating outside somebody's house because I have this fetish. Like, someone might see me. Ha, ha, ha. Maybe someone will come out and say, hey, I see you masturbating. Well, why don't you come inside and we'll finish you off. It's the whole pizza delivery guy, only he doesn't have the pizza. He, he's, he's the ninja. He's delivering something. He's delivering He's delivering some goods, but it's not the kind that you want. I'm just saying. Normally the ninja vanish without a trace, but I guess he has handy wipes. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah. It's really freaky, though, because... Uh, in the surveillance thing, he's wearing all it, it takes the black and it inverts it, and it's white. Yeah, <laughs> so now the real Paul Marsh said, Psh, Ninjas don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know that. How do you know that? <laughs> They're ninjas. They're ninjas. They could have been there and gone. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> He's busy be beating. <laughs> he goes, I are ninja. Wow. <laughs> so, Paul Marshall, you'll have to, you know, see if he's in the, if he's in your groups or if he can, any white stains on his shoes. So, <laughs> I don't know if you guys connect or call or text or something, you know. Uh <laughs> God.